My first winter sunrise. Peeking between the trees, the sun rose during our first hour on the road. On an almost deserted highway, we drive to New York City. Kids half asleep in the back seat, kept awake only by the titillation of getting closer and closer to the Big Apple with every breath. With crowds for air and high rises for sky, individual dreams diffuse into the air people collectively breathe. To be in New York City is to be suffused with the energy and grit to run at your dreams. This was not lost on the girls in the back seat. Daydreaming away before being lulled to sleep, by Jay Z and Alicia Keys. Yeah, yeah, I'm up at Brooklyn. Now I'm down in Tribeca, right next to the narrow, but I'll be hood fab. But wait a second. Before we cue Jay Z, let's give a quick shout to Saratoga, where we stop every road trip. I try my first New York style bagel ever here. Whoa. Montreal does it best, was my first thought, though I still scarfed the whole thing down. I still need a full body bib. That's good. Oh. It never is. I carry salt and sweetener packets with me everywhere I go. For moments like these, when the toast is too bland and the coffee too bitter. We just had a Christian girl Christmas. Christian girl Christmas. Bracky, got my matcha. Satisfied, we get back on the road with two hours and some change to go. Little do I know, I am about to experience the most exciting few days in this city, compounding my desire to move here soon. Upon arrival in our hotel room, I get ready for a Williamsburg shopping afternoon, patting blush into my cheeks until they turn berry red. Never enough blush is my makeup mantra. I love to feign a kiss from the sun to beautify my winter complexion. In the dead of winter, so dies my tint. I draw my lips on and end the prep with a kiss from Road. Papa said Bill. Good evening. Get it out on oh, Moxie. Wandering the Brooklyn streets, I get the sense I'm where I should be. And I feel pretty good in my skin. Is it courtesy of the blush on my cheeks? Or is it due to the freedom in knowing no one? Could it be the jewelry I wear? I show off my favorite ring in the Williamsburg streets. My sustainably made Monica Vinader bling. Made with 100% recycled 18 karat gold and an ethically sourced gemstone, it hugs my finger perfectly. Thank you Monica Vinader for sponsoring this video. Not only do they use recycled and recyclable packages, they also offer a repair and rewear program which promotes the longevity of jewelry over renewal of one's collection from my lab grown diamond huggy earrings to my Kate Young large hoop earrings to my heirloom woven chain ring to my Juno chain necklace down to my Kate Young gemstone ring I am decked in gorgeous jewelry that makes me feel good and will last me a lifetime you may use my discount code AVAM20 for 20% off your order I am on a mission this day. I keep a list of my favorite vintage shops from previous trips to the city and plan to hit the mall before the end of the evening. I bring Mila and my mom and drag my dad to a few where we all browse at clothes, upon clothes, upon boots. That's heavy. Yeah. That's fun. Upon clothes. We eventually arrive on Norman Street, home to a handful of boutiques I have saved to my favorites folder, including the wonderful Sibon. Filled with Japanese ceramics, furniture, and books, this hunk of a coffee table book we spend 15 minutes looking through, finding our loved ones' birthdays and respective auras. My favorite colors have always been green and blue. And guess what color my aura was? Now I know why. <laughs> The fun only begins here. We cross the street and shop hop, admiring the plethora of vintage furniture, wall art, and knickknacks in every store. I naturally fall in love with this electric, vibrant red foyer. Night fit. I'll get into our own room and better stuff. Road on the yeah. lips. I have Mac on the lips. I am so hungry. Thanks. 
My mom and I walk arm in arm to the restaurant where I am the only one to order a drink as my dad mentions his sobriety streak. <laughs> Cocktails are one of the small joys of my life. So I sip as I listen, happy to hear it, but certainly not eager to partake. I approve of the tempura squash with grated aged ricotta on top. The star of the show is obviously the Bon Appetit! When the eyes roll back, you know the dish has attained the status a few strata above that of satisfactory. I am content. <laughs> We end the night with tiramisu. Dessert in my family is a no-brainer after a hefty meal. It seals the deal and rarely fails in pushing the restaurant's rating up a few points. After salty, must come sweet. Supper. <laughs> Just had dinner. The Catra Pepe was amazing. Mila did not love her carbonara, did you? It was like not fantastic. The pasta had a weird kind of taste to it. It was oh. not like, it was like a whole wheat pasta. We do not like that. We ended with some tiramisu. I had a little drink. I've come to a point in my life, well no, it's not true. I've always been this way, but I'm such a lightweight. And that one drink I took five sips of and I was already like, oh. Cause this ain't going for <laughs> This is not gonna end well. She literally took two sips of I was drink. already tipsy, Eat, so. And it was like, <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna have an early night and tomorrow is a big fun day. I am so excited. Good night. That's what I wanted to try. Tatcha oh. Indigo Cleansing Balm. Okay, okay mom. Check this out. Is my mascara all off? It looks like it. It's a melting balm. How cool. Wow. Your mascara must be pretty mellow. It's just a normal mascara. Do you want to try it? This is the first time oh. I see this. That's cute. I changed it. I have, in fact, switched out my rusted diamond from grade 8 to a beautiful Monica Vinader mini hoop in my cartilage. It stuns everyone, including my mom. <laughs> Following morning, we are Manhattan bound. Headed to Jack's Wife's Frida with Emma. And have some coffee, breakfast, matcha. Soho morning. We'll see where the day takes us after. Caffeinated, we begin racking up steps. A stop into Kith to pop the morning activities cherry. Nice. So cool. My band did. <laughs> I look through the diesel section, then migrate to Sunny's. My dad steals the show as he tends to do, sporting quite the pair. Huh? Ben voyons. Mais ça va comme bien. Oh. It's too much. Too much. Oh. The High Line is a ritual in my family. Every one of our trips to New York City features a walk on the track, steering off every now and then to visit galleries, to shop, or to grab matcha. Obsessed with cha cha matcha. Do I get judged by locals for it? Absolutely. Will I be a customer forever? Also, yes. Uh, it's the nitro draft matcha that keeps me coming back. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh, look! Does it say good vibes? Draft nitro, been dreaming of this. Oh my god. Try some. It's a matcha. Try it. 
<laughs> I am not my father's daughter. My life is complete. The matcha is secured. A little refueling. We're gonna walk for a little bit. Maybe do some shopping on Fifth Avenue. It's around Christmas time and you're in New York City with your family, what do you do? Any local would warn against stepping foot on Rockefeller area soil. As tourists, however, we intentionally walk straight towards it. We watch the Dior Saks show, force a stranger to take a photo of us in front of the tree, complain about the crowd, and get the f out. The music and lights imbue us with holiday spirit as we power through claustrophobia, sewage whiffs, and flash photos. At night, we go to Birds of a Feather, a highly recommended Chinese eatery where we taste many dishes, but leave unimpressed. I hate to be the bearer of negative criticism, but I do not think it hit. None of us did. A wrong order could be the culprit or picky taste buds, but I really doubt it was the latter. The lively ambiance made up for it in part. <laughs> Neil and I left dinner early to run home, get changed, and grab a drink at the hotel bar. An extra dry martini and spicy marg, please, I asked the barman. Little do we know, this is but the very beginning of a crazy, fun, crammed night. What up? Headed to Madison Square Garden. Le Madison. <laughs> for Travis Scott's concert. I'm so excited. Very last minute planning, but yeah, super last all minute. the more excited. Plus some drinks. <laughs> and yeah, about to go. You're not see Travis. <laughs> What they know about this, that, this, that I got the bars looking up a little chit chat Too thick with it, nah, no, never been that Float is dead, you might as well been that Chuck it in the bin, bye bye Bars will hit like a mad drive by Man wanna pat on the back, high five He gets no ratings, they love to lie The rest of the night is a blur Not that kind of blur We've just decided to keep those memories for ourselves and ourselves only Life is mental, never been gentle You're like a higher one-time rental Long time, yeah, it's a business mentality Jump on the mic, it's a fatality It's good Headed to Sunday in Brooklyn for brunch. I love this spot, such good food. I need a green juice. I'm battling. It is Saturday in Brooklyn, yet we head to Sunday in Brooklyn for brunch. A nauseous breakfast is in store for me, but I knew that's what awaited me that morning, the second I started ordering margaritas the night before. Those always get me. One thing about me is I will assume the consequences of my actions, therefore not a peep came out of my parted lips when a cinnamon roll was placed in front of me and in all its gloriousness made me crave gravel. <laughs> The avocado toast set my system right, however, absorbing the residual tequila and lime juice from my system and giving way to a full, happy tummy. Where there's Calabrian chili, there is a solution to any problem. Hey, babe. Mila just woke up, just got back from breakfast. It's not looking great for me. Last night was so much fun. We got home at like 4.30 and woke up at nine, so it's brutal. I mean, Mila slept <laughs> until 12, as always. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, we went to Socialista, had some drinks. <laughs> went to Socialista, got some drinks there, and then we went to the box. And crazy. Oh, I'm so exhausted. Now we're gonna go to the MoMA Museum Day. It's gonna be a battle staying awake in a museum. <laughs> The MoMA has always been a favorite of mine, but that day it is not. Mila and I migrate from bench to bench, powering through the scaries while attempting to appreciate the art all around. Ed Rusha really entertained us. That said, don't ask me about anything we saw and what it meant. We zombied our way through room after room with eyes half open and a faltering will to keep going. A Vietnamese photographer with beautiful prints caught my eye, but the prospect of reading was not a plausible one, so I just waited for everyone in the museum lobby. It's looking grim. It's looking grim. You win some, you lose some. 
gonna go get matcha. I need matcha. I've not had caffeine today. I honestly don't know how I'm surviving. Uh, droite. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. Naturally, we found ourselves back at Chacha Matcha at my forceful request. Can I please get a draft matcha latte? Can I get a latte, please? For a necessary power up. She is beauty, but she ain't beauty. I love you so much. Vanilla. Mm. I wish they had this matcha. Freezing. <laughs> you hear about it, you see it photographed constantly on your feed, you recognize the name. Bar PD is a New York City staple. Whether you love it or you hate it, you cannot take that away from it. And its pasta is damn good. As my indecisive family tends to do, we ask to switch spots two seconds after sitting down and proceed to order a plethora of bread to fill the impatient voids in our stomachs. <laughs> Frowns turned upside down, we devour the pasta that follows. <laughs> Only acclaims for the pasta, we all agreed it was the best dish we ate in New York City. Taste test, seen this a thousand times everywhere. Mm. Mm. Oh wow. Oh, wow. This is a perfect uh, hangover meal, huh? Girl? <laughs> Called out. I'm happy they put it together. And it's like thin pasta. Good morning. Walking to the water. On our last day, we head to the water to take in the skyline and I dream of the day I'll get to see it daily on a morning run or evening walk. This skyline just does things to me, honestly. We jump on the subway to go into Manhattan, stay on the 5 all the way until 86th, where we hop off to grab a quick breakfast. <laughs> Got a matcha. We stopped at Maman. They have it in the Upper East Side. J'adore l'avenue du Parc. Had a very average breakfast, and now we're just walking around the Upper East Side. We're gonna walk down because we're on 81st. Just walk down because we're pretty high up. Two pretty shops. Oh my God, arguing in the background, please. Do some shopping. Yeah. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a? Actually, I don't want to know. Park Avenue. Papa, Dad's favorite avenue because it goes both ways. On prend avantage de nos derniers moments dans la ville. Je suis triste. Oh my, imagine ça, c'est ton entrée. Monsieur, tu monsieur? Ouais. Hein? Ouais. The walk down to 63rd begins from here with store pecans every couple blocks and matcha, of course. I drink matcha more than I drink water, something I know can't be good, but I just cannot change or will not change. Semantics. <laughs> Looks like Christmas. Yeah. Got some sushi, and now we're just waiting to pee in blue bottle. We make two final stops on Berry Street to grab some sushi and coffee for the road. <laughs> Cravings accounted for. It is time to say goodbye, New York City, and until next time.